In other news that we are tracking today, three days since Jet Airways has uh, now discontinued their operations, the management is still trying to find a way to restart the airline. Miranao's Neha Kulkarni spoke to the employees uh, union who said that the union is also working with the management to find an investor. Uh, you uh, have been spokesperson this evening, you have met with the management. Have they assured any kind of uh, uh, payment of salaries given a deadline as to when can we they, they expect the money to be coming? Yeah, good evening. Uh, so we had a follow-up uh, CEO meeting today. We are talking exactly about the salaries. At this time, there is no visibility. Uh, our CEO is, uh, is a very, I would say, good leader for us. He is leading us in these most difficult times. We had the best uh, we had the best uh, leader at the today. And as I always say, we've got, we've got a best management team, but in a very wrong time. Mm -hmm. So we are in a situation where, yes, coming to your question of salaries, yes, there is no visibility. That's point number one. But my first question goes to the government in power today. We've been in an appeal mode all this while. At this time, I would pressurize the nerve of appeal to a little bit more as to, we just want to know as to the government Today, it's not that they cannot support us. And what we fail to understand is when we're talking about an airline, the largest international carrier today, why are we, I mean, can we afford to collapse, you know, to make the Jerevays uh, just to collapse overnight? Is it just the employee's loss? Is it just the chairman's loss? It's the common man's loss. We're going to give all this market to the international carriers. This is not what Make in India actually proposes, right? We we are not we are not going to gift wrap our complete market to the international carriers. Even if our uh, you know Jerevay's rival airlines want to increase their market, they're going to take time. It takes 25 years for Jerevay's to come what we are today. It took it took a lot for the employees. It it is an experience for the customer. So at the end of the day, it takes 25 years for a brand like Jerevay's. To answer, because a lot of other airlines are trying to take away the slots of Jet now, uh, ensure that uh, they get the prime uh, time positions. But at the same time, we are hoping that Jet is uh, kind of coming, uh, waiting to come back. At this time, what does it mean to the employees who are still resisting and putting themselves back in the airline, saying they are trusting the airline to give them their salary? So many of the rival airlines, <coughs> rival airlines are increasing their fleet. Many of our aircrafts are getting uh, registered with the rival airlines. So definitely they will need a trained man manpower. They are not going to just start operations without manpower. Jet Airways has today the richest resource of trained manpower over the last 25 to 26 years. As you know, since we have been in operations since, uh, since 1993, when the open sky policy, policy was brought, there is no other airline which came into inception, which came into operation at that time, is still existing today. Jet is the only airline which has started in that era and is still, it was still operational uh, till last week. So where will any other airline get a rich resource of manpower? Today they are taking our aircraft and inducting in their fleet to uh, make a stopgap arrangement probably to encash on the vacation season uh, uh, and uh, to make sure the operations, uh, operational void which has been created due to the stoppage of operations of jet airways can be fulfilled. But where are the, how are they going to operate the aircraft? So they need, definitely they need trained manpower. They are looking for it. Nobody is doing, I don't think anybody is doing any favor by inducting any manpower from jet airways. They will not get the kind of experience the kind of manpower that we have, the resource that we have, we will not get anywhere in India. Neha Kulkarni has been tracking this story for us. She joins us on the phone line. Neha, you spoke to a cross-section of people, especially representatives of the Employees Union. Now, what are the immediate challenges and what is the possible way out of this crisis? Is anything working out at all for Jet Airways? I think there's some important pointers being pointed out by the employees there. Two main things that they continue to trust the management to give them their salaries. We know that it's almost been a couple of months since the employees have not been given their salaries. It's been a week since Jeff Airways has centrally shut its operations. Uh, the employees come every day to office, but they do not know whether the salaries will be given to them. So very important points coming in there where they say that they continue to trust the management of 
some kind of clarification on their salaries. But at the same time, you also know that there have been several appeals made by these employees, the 20,000 staff, uh, asking the government to pay them, asking the government to not ignore jet airways and to ensure that it is revived. We also know that today in the uh, Prime Minister's rally um, at BKC, we also expect some staff of jet airways, at least 1,000 in number, to come themselves in full uniforms and uh, make their presence felt in the rally so that the PM takes the note of the situation of jet airways, the dying, uh, the dying airline, and understands that they, they need a revival plan here. And you also know that a lot of jet airway staff is already being lost out to other airlines, five mm-hmm. Indigo and many others are trying to crash on their uh, staff here. But we must also understand that if um, uh, there is still some hope for Jet here till May 10, till the revival plan comes in, till the highest bidder bids in and uh, gets control of the airline. So till that time, it's a difficult situation for employees as well. Right. So the prime focus, of course, is to find an investor and, of course, a binding equity, which is the need of the hour for an airline like Jet Airways, uh, which is in dire straits. Thanks for joining us, Neha.